Hi, this is Talia, and this is my uh, entry for the 40 Day Revelation Challenge. I think this is day 34, um, counting down. And I was inspired to do a pop up as well. Like my husband, he he had a very good point saying that the word is living, and Yahweh speaks through His word. Um, and so I decided to go ahead and do a pop up as well. And that's when the you open up your scriptures and you pick whatever where the pages may lay, uh, where pages may fall. And the page fell on Second Kings, chapter six, verse seventeen. And 17 stuck out for me when I focused in on the middle of the page, but uh, it says, Elisha prayed and said, Yahweh, please open his eyes that he may see. Yahweh opened the young man's eyes and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire around Elisha. And so Elisha prayed and interceded on apparently a young man's behalf and Yahweh heard his prayer. Um, the fact that they had that relationship to where Yahweh heard the man, heard this prophet and, you know, granted his request that this young man's eyes be open and that he saw, um, I want that type of relationship to where Yahweh trusts me with that type of anointing, that type of power, and to hear my prayer, and to, you know, encourage me to intercede on other people's behalf more often, in which I don't, and I need to. I, I believe that, you know, power, uh, there is power behind prayer, and Father wants us to have that communication with Him, and wants us to have that type of relationship, uh, to have, that's a goal for me, so I, I like that, and Alicia wanted this young man's eyes to be open and see beyond circumstances that was going on maybe around them to where he saw full of horses and chariots of fire around Alicia. And I kind of peeked before and after this verse, and they were in distress. And he saw to me, look like this in the spiritual realm, chariots of fire around Elisha. So whatever was going on in this situation, Elisha prayed for help and Yahweh granted that. He's faithful. You know, whatever your prayer may be, if it's lining up with his will, he'll grant it. You know, don't pray amiss. I think that's in James. Don't quote me, sorry. But don't pray amiss. Don't pray for vain things. Don't pray for carnal things. Father already has you, you know, um, interceding on people's behalf, even when you don't know what they need. You know, Father, help them in their circumstances. If it lines up with your will, I pray that you, that you um, grant them this. So there's a couple things in that verse for me. I know for me personally that helps. Uh, I want that type of relationship. I want to intercede on people's behalf more often. Um, what I'm not doing enough, it's I I need to do that more often, especially in this season of before Yom Kippur comes. Um, that is my prayer, that Father opens up the eyes of the blind, opens up the ears of the deaf, um, to have that relationship go to where um, I have that influence on people to lead them to the Most High. So uh, thank you for listening. Um, thank you for hearing me ramble, but I I probably need to do this pop up more often too. <laughs> so uh, God bless, y'all bless, and I encourage you all to also do the same and continue on with this revelation challenge. Thank you. Bye.